Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. Vagrants and children living on the streets are among the worst affected by this year's winter. Muchaneta Chemuka reports. The cold snap affecting the entire country with low temperatures hitting the homeless hardest, with the elderly, babies and women at risk of catching infections. According to weather experts, Zimbabwe is likely to experience a very cold winter this year, with temperatures expected to drop to below 18 degrees Celsius. Security guards on night duties spoke about their experiences with homeless people. <laughs> Every year, some well wishers donate blankets to the homeless to protect them from the cold weather. My blankets, my blankets, the Jaws, Utiva Kawan is Kwao, one of the Gongo Tunzi Ranao, Zuniges Rinan. Exposure to very low temperatures can lead to death. We tend to have increased cases of the common cold uh, during this uh, winter season. They, they get, exp you know, serious exposure to the cold. They can get hypothermic. In other words, even the, the body regulating mechanism for temperature will, will, will stop working and uh, they may actually die. She encouraged people to stay indoors and to take vaccines to prevent flus. We urge people to keep warm. If there is no need to be out of doors, they should be, you know, indoors and, you know, keep themselves warm, take plenty of hot fluids. In 2009, Zimbabwe experienced one of its coldest winters when temperatures dropped to minus 12 degrees Celsius. Muchanita Chimuka reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. This ability has not prevented a visually impaired Bulawayo radio presenter from achieving his dream. Chris Pentavura gives us the story. radio Zimbabwe in Ten minutes past ten. Popular and blind Bulawayo based radio presenter Libatul Pasha is using his dream job to fight against discrimination of the disabled. Lupasha, a trained journalist who has been blind since birth, is passionate about his work and told ATV about the discrimination he experienced when he first entered the broadcasting industry. Fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know, but uh, I was the only visually impaired person in my class as a broad who was doing broadcast journalism. And the first one in Zimbabwe so far to train at the Harare Poly Polytechnic. So far the one and only from what I understand. There wasn't anybody to do the braille transcription but anyway this couldn't stop me from uh, practicing my journalism because the people therein were so cooperative. At one point he had to switch professions for survival before going back to try his luck again in broadcasting. Just because I, had, uh, I was supposed to put something on the table you know, I opted for court interpreting in the Ministry of Justice and uh, I had a very good time there. I had a stint with them for about three years. He later landed his dream job in South Africa where he worked for several years. Then went to South Africa to do um, a little bit of community or provincial broadcasting at some stations, uh, at the then stations in Doburg and Cape Town. I worked with one Teta FM in Joburg and Josie FM in Soweto. Lupasha, who joined Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation in March this year, is popular among his listeners. This, this program is very good. And, uh, I only came to realize that he's blind. But all what I know from him, all what I listen from the radio, is that he's very good. I never uh, suspected Kutimuna Kangarishi are blind. And uh, to me, that was Pandaka Sushin's way. It actually came as a shock. But you know, I go perform. I think I'm a performer in it. I'm able to put it in a person. He attributed his success to ZBC management. Maybe may I also take this opportunity once again to express my most sincere gratitude to my, you know, to my mentors here at ZBC. 
um ubabum kitiga uh you know uh, we used to call him Nebsi, sister Nebsi when we were young. Uh, my protégés, your Peter Jones of this world, Otis Fraser's, um, my colleagues here at the ZPC. Perseverance pays. Lupasha is now a hip man doing what he enjoys most. Reporting for ATV, I'm Chris Tabra in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Fire cases are on the increase in Harare and many families are being left homeless. Jeffrey Moyer reports. Cases of fire in apartments around the capital are on the rise in a new development that has left a number of families homeless. Number of flats have been badly damaged by fire in recent weeks in the city's avenues area. ATV spoke with Justice Makwawarara, a committee member for London Lodge Residents Association, a flat whose upper floor was destroyed by fire. Eight families have been displaced since uh, the fire outbreak. My family is eight, and was not able to get it. We kind of no squatter to their relatives. Uh, most of them are not able because they lost everything. Renovating the flat will not be easy for them. The conditions at the moment are not conducive for Kutvan. We are not able to get it. So of Harare. Irikuda kuti ma, ma, ma fire extinguisher ni zumo zose zwa kafa and to renovate that place. Zi gadziri iskwe kutu wanu wako wana kuramba wa shigarapa anu. The flat was not insured. Uh, Anga sina insurance. There was no insurance. Kusaka zuriku neza kutiti gadziri se. Uh, kutiti te repair the flat because panga pa sina insurance. Others are now homeless. Apachi sina kana. Poku tangira. Ndagato shaya poku tangira. Because everything, an apartment in Fakose was guarded by fire recently after a candle was left close to the curtain, while another in Isla is yet to be renovated seven years after it went up in flames. So it's in my, my sofa and everything. So you must pay as a guy to the motor. Jeffrey Moyo reporting for ATV Harare, Zimbabwe. Some members of the Apostolic Church are being accused of dumping metal waste recklessly in open spaces. Muchanet Dachimuga reports. Va gari le mumusha we chitumbiza vari kunyunyuta nekudai kwemamwe mapostoro ari mbizi musire ugadzira mapoto ayo ari kurasira masimbi pese pese kuita uku kuri kushibisa naraunda uye vanhu vari panyati kwaye kubatira zvirwere zvakadai se tetanus ano konzera kuti vana vedu vasara mazvakanaka vachifamba zvavano dano kwanisa kucheka vana kana isi vanhu vakuru unogona kungochekwa ukaita tetanus Kunyangwe mamwe mapostori enjimbo ii haasi kufazi wana azo. Chino ino wanda mungimbo. Wanifu wana kukana kutuwa mgomba kutivara sire imumu. Kote kungora sara sa pese pese. Nukuti mwishimu kwanzele sasha kuti wangwe wana wana kuna utambira wa wapa wapa iwa. Jisi na ini kuti bizimusi iri ino pacho uviri. Vajinji wari kukuru zira kutimarara aya aiswe panjimbo za kako zira. ATV payaka mima njimbo ye unit H Yaka itamawekwe ni ungwa ndangwa ndawe marara SMB Ainge akaraskwa pese pese Jaka daiva mwema garime njimbo ye wakato umba mabinda uko Eku tengesa simbi izi Kune ni makambani anuzo zidika hapa cha. Mm, marara nika jira squire. We will make money out of marara. Chine nika jira squire. Two. Chichita ju swekari. Recycling to no create employment. Swekari tichene sa environment. Yoza nika nguti swekari koshera scrap metal. Recover. Kana wabati vi mira uwa kasa ita basa ni majo. Dambu ziko irisha rambara kazika mizi. Ndini mtoriwe na UATV. Muchanita chimu kandiri mchitunguiza Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.